This lesson is on how one can recognize the differences between a non-buffered and buffered solution. In front of you are three beakers containing from left to right 100 milliliters of H2O or water, 100 milliliters of 1.0 molar NaCl, and 100 milliliters of a mixture of equal portions of one molar CH3 CO2H or acidic acid and one molar aqueous NaCH3 CO2 or sodium acetate. The initial pHs for each of the mixtures are as follows. Seven, seven, and 4.74. Let's first begin with 100 milliliters of water. An addition of 10 milliliters of one molar HCl solution results in a pH change from seven to 1.04. In reset, an addition of 10 milliliters of one molar NaOH solution results in a pH change from seven to 12.96. Now we will work with the 100 milliliters of one molar NaCl, an addition of 10 milliliters of one molar HCl solution results in a pH change from seven to 1.04. In reset, an addition of 10 milliliters of one molar NaOH solution results in a pH change from seven to 12.96. Lastly, we will work with 100 milliliter solution containing equal portions of one molar acidic acid and one molar sodium acetate solution. An addition of 10 milliliters of one molar HCl solution results in a pH change from 4.74 to 4.65. In reset, an addition of 10 milliliters of one molar NaOH solution results in a pH change from 4.74 to 4.83. In conclusion, non-buffered solutions show large pH changes and buffered solutions show small pH changes when either a small amount of acid or base is added.